Hello and welcome guys, Armagan Views here, today with a new tutorial about changing text in Illustrator to make it look more sporty, so that you can implement it into a team logo or for example eSports or basketball or whatever, sports in general. So um, yeah, that's actually enough with the introduction, let's start Illustrator. I'm going to make a new document just as usual, full HD because I like it, and let's call it sporty text, and hit OK. So there we are, and first of all, let's just create our text. And I'm going to choose to type out something like icon. Let me just start with the theory here to kind of get or to achieve, to make this, um, this, this effect of making it sporty the most effective. It's very good if your text that you want to type out or make look sporty has uh, the same end and beginning. As you can see, our beginning is just a straight line, the I. And the end is a straight line as well, the end, the end of the N. And that's perfect, actually, because we're later on going to add some spikes to make it look more dangerous and sporty. I see it in a lot of team logos and stuff like this. There are those spikes. And yeah, just look into the NFL or anything actually sport-related. They have those spikes on their text to make it look more aggressive. And it works out pretty good. So let's not start with Myriad Pro, it looks, yeah. Let's start with Gotham Black, there we go. And well, actually we could work with the, the text here already. Let's see if we have, no, we have no kerning or spacing. So we can just go to object and expand it real quick. If you want to alternate the text to make it look a bit more cooler, yeah, I'm just going to do it. I want to subtract Let's see how this looks, actually, I'm just trying it out, guys. I'm going to copy these as a safety copy, then press Shift-M and delete this part right here. This one as well, and then, oops, Command-F and bring this in again. So, does it look good? No. Let's just leave it where it was. There you go, I can. Okay. Next up, a cool trick, guys, to perspectively distort your text, and I haven't seen this in any tutorials right now. I don't know why I've searched for it for so long, but there's this tool called Free Transform, Transform Tool. Press E. Then this cool box here will pop up and hit Perspective Distort. <laughs> That's It's that easy. Then drag this in right here, and as you can see, it gets this epic cool effect already and well next up we're going to create the little spikes that I've mentioned in the beginning let's not make it let's don't make them too big I think something like this should do the trick yeah this this little rap verse was intended guys okay let's zoom in drag this one in and there we go it doesn't have to be perfect guys just just make it real quick right here for the tutorial and since I'm a perfectionist, though, I'm going to delete those uh, unneeded anchor points right there, because those can lead to problems later on in this technique. And this already looks pretty good. So what we're going to do now is go to Effect, Warp, Arc, Lower. Then this window will pop up. And we are going to set it to, yeah, let's see, minus 10 is perfect, I guess. Yep, looks pretty nice. And guys, please listen. Never distort your text to the right or to the top or anything because it just looks ridiculous. But in this tutorial, we can finally distort our text to make it look better because right now it looks really squashed and kind of weird. So just click on it and drag it up a little bit. And I think it looks bit, uh, better just like this. Maybe it was too much. Maybe I got too excited, but... Just drag it up a little bit after you have put this warp effect on it and we're good to go. Okay, next up we got this and as you can see if you select it, it shows you the old position and we need to fix this by going to object and expand appearance. Boom, there we go. Well, next up we are going to object again, path, offset path, preview and we're going to give it like, it should be really thick actually, let's see, 15, oh, way too much. Let's see, 10, maybe even too much still, let's say, let's say 9, okay. And don't press anything now, just unite this shape, 
by using the Pathfinder. And next up, we need to fill up this whole shape right here. From the top, let's see, from the top to the middle. Leave the, 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 the bottom part right here, just leave it like this. It gives it a nice texture and character. So yeah, it adds to the effect later on. Then select the outlined shape that we've created in our, uh, our fill up right here and make it one shape. And as you can see, we got those bumpy thingies right here going on because of our O's. And just press Control U real quick so I get those smart guides. And now drag out a box above our outlined shape right here. Make it perfect so it uh, includes those little bumpy thingies. And make sure to subtract it just like this. Now we can get rid of those anchor points again to make it perfect. Uh, somehow get rid of them. I'm using the pen tool and if there's a minus coming up on the anchor point, just click on it and it's going to delete it. So there we go. Um, let's right click, arrange, send it to the back and now select your text that wasn't here and make it white. Boom, looks pretty epic already. So next up, select this shape, the outer shape, go to object, path, offset path again. And this time make it like six pixels thick or so, maybe even five. I think five is fine. And now all you need to do is give it a nice poisonous yellow, something like this. And boom, there you have it. Very sporty looking, aggressive text. All you need to do now is add your mascot. For example, a bee would fit in here pretty great. And yeah, that's actually it. I know guys, adding the mascot is the hardest part of the whole logo, but you know guys, it's like this. And I've got enough Team Logo tutorials on my channel so that you can make your own mascot or anything. And maybe there's also going to come another tutorial with another great big artist. And uh, if this happens, it's if this is going to happen, it's going to be crazy. So let's see. Let's look into the future, guys. And I wanted to suggest you a cool little trick that you could use also if it fits the style. And it's about uh, working with the text even more. As you can see, we have this nice and cool looking text right here now. And this white of my desktop is killing my eyes. So let's drag this out real quick. And um, yeah, what you could do now is actually get the color of this one right here. It's a pure black for me, but I don't know which colors you have chosen. So try to make little scratches in here. And you don't have to switch. You just need to click somewhere else while pressing control. So this pops up and you're getting rid of the selection from here. So let's see if I make something like this. Close it out. As you can see, this is selected. Now I press control, click in here. It's deselected and I get the pen tool ready again without having to press P again. So let's see if I can add some more stripes right here. I think that looks pretty awesome, guys. Now let's add something here again. Maybe make a cut right through here. Just I'm just random, uh, randomly distributing them. I think the N could have some more scratches. Let's see. Oh, that was too much. And maybe even one from here to over there. And boom, there we go. I think that looks pretty crazy already. I can, you could add something like gaming down here or football club or whatever, and then bring your mask over here, adds a little bit of shadow on your text to make it look better. And yeah, if you have created those little shapes right here onto your white text to make it look destroyed, do not forget to actually subtract those little shapes from your white text by using the Pathfinder or the Shape Builder tool. Uh, very easy, just like always. And yeah, it's just to have a clean, nice and clean logo at the end of the day. There we go, guys. This is how I would go about making sporty text in Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Leave a like, comment and subscribe. Suggest me some more tutorials in the description below if you're interested in team logos or sports logos. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this, guys. Armaga and videos.